Hey, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we'll be doing an unbagging unboxing of the Grand Prix Expansion Tracks Expansion Pack for Grand Prix. Uh, this includes four additional tracks. Obviously, they're just some nice big boards, and we're just going to look at the tracks themselves and what you get. I mean, obviously, what you get is going to be two boards, uh, double sided, of course, so you got four tracks. You have the Circuit de Cheva, the Knight Kennedy, Tiernan. Here in Raceway and the Leviathan. So we will unbag these and take a look at what you get. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. All right, let's get started here. So clearly, um, this is this is for the Grand Prix game, which is a a Formula One racing game, but these tracks can be used with the Thunder Alley tracks as well and vice versa. So if you're a Thunder Alley fan, you can get these. If you're a Grand Prix fan, you can get these. Start your engines. So you have one sheet, a uh, cover sheet, just to kind of give you some background about the tracks. Uh, it's got some few rules here about over overlapping lanes, uh, restart lanes, Thunder Alley restarts. He's got special instructions for Thunder Alley. Uh, and then track specific rules. It does not tell you uh, which tracks these were modeled after. Obviously these are fictitious because they don't pay a licensing fee, which makes complete sense. But uh, um, there you go. One thing that's interesting here is the Tiran Raceway has three distinct courses, the oval, the road course, and the combined. Interesting. All right, so I'm gonna open each one of these up and we'll do some close-ups of each track. All right, so here's the first one. This is Knight Kennedy Speedway in Radire Island. Uh, it's a two-lap track uh, for Grand Prix and Thunder Alley. The artwork in these is very nice. Very, uh, it's got a nice matte finish. You see it's not too shiny in the lights. Got a little bit of a glare here where it's directly hitting the light. But uh, give you a feel for what this one is. Got a nice water feature here on the coast. Oh, that's interesting. Got the one little bottleneck here where it becomes one uh, one lane. And then splits to three lanes. And then another tight turn here. No overtake movement allowed between G1 and G2. And again, it, it becomes a very tight, you do have a pit lane, but uh, uh, other than that, it's it's one cell, so pretty cool, pretty cool there. And then spots obviously for your event cards and the race cards. All right, so that is Knight Kennedy Speedway. This is Tiran Raceway, Scout, Colorado. And this is the one that has the three, the three, uh, three tracks. We have. Just the straight oval. Okay, and then you can turn off and go into this one. And then you can combine it. So that is pretty nice, pretty nifty. Again, got a couple of bottlenecks here. On this track and down here. So those are both on the, uh, the expanded track. Um, the oval looks pretty straightforward. So you can choose, see what it says here. Um, okay, Grand Prix combined, it's two laps, Thunder Alley Road, Thunder Alley combined, and then Grand Prix Road, Thunder Alley Oval, and Grand Prix Oval. You do five laps, or four laps on those, depending on which one it is. So that was map board number one. And now we'll flip over and check out track number two. So as you know that these are, um, if it wasn't obvious, these are eight panel maps that go long, like all the other, all the other tracks. So this is, uh, you know, four by two, um, roughly, uh, see so the math, 34 by 22 on the, on the maps. So, or on the tracks, I mean, technically maps of a track, but anyway. So this is the Leviathan in Foster City, Atlantis. So clearly this is not based on anything real <laughs> so let's take a look at this one 
Again, the bottleneck coming through. Beautiful artwork for the background. Nice track with lots of curves in both directions. Got some bottlenecks there. Coming around, and our lap counter here is it's two laps in Thunder Alley, three laps in Grand Prix. Looking forward to getting this out with both of these. So if you ever wondered what Atlantis looks like, Jeff and Carla Horger have an idea here. They're telling you what it looks like. So. All right, and one more. All right, so we're looking at the Circuit de Cheva, or Chevis in Anselmo, Spain. I'm probably mispronouncing that. This one's two laps for Thunder Alley, three laps for Grand Prix. Ooh, nasty, nasty hairpin bottleneck there. Another one here on the corner. Yeah, I need to break, break this out and play it again very, very soon. It's very easy to, to true solo playing all the all the cars. I've got a I've got a demo video for Thunder Alley showing how to do that. Um, you're just playing all the teams as a single player. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. These are very nice, very cool. All right, let's do a brief recap. So there's not too much to recap here. If you pick up a copy of the Grand Prix expansion tracks for Grand Prix slash Thunder Alley, you are gonna get both of those double-sided uh, track boards that we, that we just took a look at. And one page, uh, cover page, with a uh, few little uh, rules for each track. And that is everything that comes in the bag not a box. So anyway, but thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!